guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my top 5 favorite pink nude nail polishes for spring especially. Obviously we've moved into spring now, finally, I'm so happy about that and the weather is definitely changing in Denmark. We're getting a lot hotter and that is just really lovely. And my favorite color to wear for spring on my nails is definitely a pale pink nude pink nail polish because it just suits all styles, it doesn't really matter what you're wearing almost, you can just wear it with almost all clothes. So I just really love those nude pink colors. So I dig deep down into my nail polish drawer to find out which were my favorites and I found those five for you that I'm going to show you right now. So if you're interested, keep watching. Let's start with the one that I'm wearing on my nails today. This is from Essie and this is called Not Just a Pretty Face. And I love this one because even though it is a kind of like nude pinky color, it has also got some beige undertones in it. So it is not like too pink. And because it's not really that noticeable, I just feel like that it's a perfect nail polish color for spring because it gives a little extra without being too much. And um, it is really easy to apply. This is one of those nude pinky nail polishes that are not streaky because that's the thing that I often find with nude and white nail polishes, really like light colors when it comes to nail polishes. They are often so, so streaky and so difficult to apply. But this one is so easy. It is not streaky at all. You can easily start with one coat. But if you apply two coats, you won't be able to see your own nail through it. Um, at least not that much, I would say, and it looks so beautiful. I am absolutely in love with it. I think it's gorgeous. Great pigmentation for a nude pink nail polish, and I just can't rave enough about it. I don't think this is a spring um, a limited edition one, but if it is, definitely get your hands on it because it is amazing. One more from Essie is a one called Rumba Room. This one was a limited edition from last spring collection, I believe. Because it is a bit more bright, it just brings a bit more life into your nails and a bit more brightness. And it looks really pretty, especially for spring and summer, I would say. And it is just the most pretty baby pink color, as you can see. This is unfortunately a tiny bit streaky when you apply it, but if you just apply two, three coats of it, it looks amazing and it won't go streaky, but the first coat is a bit difficult to apply because it does go streaky. It is a bit more sheer in color than the other one that I just showed you, the one um, called Not Just a Pretty Face. So it's a bit more sheer when you apply it firstly, but once you build it up, it is really beautiful and very pigmented as well. As I said, unfortunately, this is a limited edition um, nail polish, but I would say that I've seen it a lot of places online. I think it was on Beauty Bay or somewhere like that. I will try to find it and list it down below where you can get it, but I have seen it online still, so you can still get your hands on it, and I definitely recommend you guys to do it, because it is just the perfect spring color, and it is a baby pink pretty color, and it's great for, you know, like wearing when you're wearing like whites or even blacks as well, just to bring a bit more light into the outfit. I just really love it. And the last Essie nail polish, you know, I love my Essie nail polishes, is the one called Lovey Dovey. And this is beautiful, like seriously beautiful. And it is a bit more of a true pink, I would say. It is a bit more bright, bold pink, I would say, and it also looks like that on the nails. Um, it is very true to color, actually, when you see it here in the tube, and it's just amazing on the nails. I can't say enough good words about this one. I really like it, and this is one of my absolute favorite pinks to wear on my nails, because even though it's a bit bubblegum Barbie pink, I would say it is still so beautiful, and I just really like wearing it. I think it's a bit fierce, you know. I think almost every girl would love to have this nail polish in their collection because it is just beautiful and it's just a true pink in my mind. But I would say that a lot of girls would probably also have a difficulty wearing it because it is that bright when it gets on. Um, but I would say it really gives some life into your outfit because especially for me, I am very black and white and grey and therefore a pink colour is just such a boost to the outfit, it just gives a little bit more <clears throat> to my look and um, I just really like this colour, I mean even though it's very 
Barbie pinkish. I still think it's got an edge, which I really love. And I love the name Lovey Dovey. It's just so cute. The next one is from Ciate. This is only a mini size, but I'm definitely going to get the full size when I'm out of this little one. This is the one called Strawberry Milkshake, and I got it in my advent calendar from 2014. Um, from Christmas time and I love it so much. I am wearing it like a crazy person at the moment because I think it's amazing. The only bad thing that there is about this nail polish is that it chips so easily and normally I don't find that with Ciate's nail polishes. I think they're really good at lasting for a long time on the nails but this one, I have no idea why, it just chips on me so easily and I'm, I'm not sure why, maybe it's a bad formula that I've got here but I don't know, it just chips so easily and that is so annoying because I love the colour on my nails but I can only wear it like two to three days in a row. If I wear it for like four or five days it is totally chipped and looking horrible and yeah, I just hate that. I want my nails to look good every single day. So that's the only bad thing that I have to say about this one because else I am absolutely craving this colour at the moment. This is like spring in a bottle and I love it. I am so in love with it. It is just the perfect pastel pink colour. I think it's gorgeous. And the name, once again, Strawberry Milkshake. I love it. It is the exact colour of this nail polish. It is like a strawberry milkshake and it looks amazing. Very pigmented, really beautiful when it gets on, very easy to build up. It is not streaky or weird to apply. The only bad thing is, unfortunately, it does chip a lot and that is just a shame because the colour is perfection. And the last nail polish I'm going to show you is from Dior. And let me just say, Dior's nail polishes, yes, they are really expensive, obviously because it's a high-end brand and so on, but my gosh, the formulation of the nail polishes is amazing. You have to try them. They are incredible and they stay on for such a long time. You can easily wear the nail polishes for a week without any chipping. They are incredible. But the one that I'm going to show you today is only a mini and this is the one called Ivory, uh, number 108. And this is the perfect ivory pink nail polish colour. When you get it on your nails, it is very similar to the one called Ballet Slippers from Essie actually, but I like this one much better in formulation because it is not as streaky, it is much easier to apply and also the actual, let me just show you, but the actual brush is so easy to work with. It is a bit more choppy than the um, Essie nail polish um, brushes and therefore it's just so much easier to get it on your nails really quickly without having to do loads of strokes because when you do a lot of strokes on the nails it gets streaky. Um, so it's just so easy to apply. I love it. Very pigmented as well. I usually apply two coats of this one and then it looks amazing. You will be able to see the whiteness of your nails through it, but I still think that looks really nice. It looks like a French manicure almost, and I really like that. So it makes your nails look really healthy, really beautiful, very natural as well, and I really like that. But obviously, it has got a bit of a pink undertone in it, so it's not nude, but it's not like white either. It's somewhere in the middle, which is a pretty pink nude shade. And that was all from my Pink Spring Nail Polishes of 2015 and oh my god that was so exciting. If you've got any recommendations for me and also for some pretty pink nail polishes let me know in the comment section down below because I'm always on the hunt for a really pretty pink nail polish. If you found the video inspirational and helpful in any way you know what to do. Thumbs it up, 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 up. I'm so happy today, the sun is shining, it is really springy today, I'm just so happy and for once I am wearing stripes, I'm wearing something different than just black and white which is really exciting, I'm just really happy, my skin is feeling a bit better, still very 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 dry thanks to the um, retinol treatment that I'm going through right now, it is really flaky and um, sore and red, I don't know if you can see it. I'm still only wearing like a really light CC cream because I can't wear anything else on my face at the moment. Um, but as I said in some of my previous videos, whenever this is over, I am definitely going to do some more um, tutorials. I'm going to do makeup tutorials, first impression videos and some 
foundations that I've got in my drawers or some of the NARS weightless uh, luminous foundation thing. I haven't tried it yet and I've had it for such a long time now but I haven't been able to try it because of my face. So um, I'm really excited so please get excited for this spring on my channel because there's going to be so many great videos. I just can't wait to film them for you guys and I'm just so excited and um, I just want to say once again thank you so much for watching. Have the most amazing day. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And till next time, have a really good time. Bye! This one is supposed to be much more punky, you know, like much more like mm, and much more thickening and